before you judge me, these are not all plants, okay? I think that this box alone is pots, I'm thinking. I bought two plants and a bunch of pots. I was really, really short on decorative pots, so I really needed to place an order. And they were on sale, so I figured, why not? There are two wishlist plants in here, so I'm so excited. So yeah, let's open them. Hello everyone, welcome to My Jungle Story. My name is Jacqueline and today we're going to be doing an unboxing. I am so excited. These are two wishlist plants and I'm actually also quite excited about the pots that are in here. But yeah, let's just get into it and start unpacking because these did arrive like about an hour ago but I was in the shower actually when it arrived so it was kind of awkward but I was not going to leave this outside. So let's shall I start with this one first oh yeah if it's not obvious where I ordered from <laughs> plants.com <laughs> now I'm gonna do this one first because I think that this is the pots and let's leave the best for last so this box is huge but they are big plants in here so no there's big pots in here what am I saying Oh, I love their paper that they use. It's so nice. I always say that I want to keep it, but I'm like, what am I actually going to use it for? Yeah, these are all the pots. So I ordered one, two, three, four, five pots. And then I got a bunch of clear pots. I really like the ones that they have. Uh, that one's broken. It's got like a little snap on it. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I got the 12 centimeter ones, the 15 centimeter ones. I got quite a lot of these because I use this size quite a lot. And then I wanted to try the 19 centimeter ones and I'm thinking maybe I should have gotten more because I do really like that. These are really strong as well. I've ordered clear pots before online from like no, I don't know what, what's that app called, Timu or something. And they just weren't very good quality, like they were really thin and flimsy. So, yeah, not really, not really what you want. I hope that none of, none of these are damaged. But they are wrapped really, really well. Oh, I like that. So I got this part. Wow, these are really wrapped well. Okay, that's more purple than the picture. This was supposed to be like a light pink. But it's still pretty. It's really, these are really good quality ceramic pots. It's supposed to be light pink. Yeah, it says light pink, but it's not. But it's still really pretty. It still goes with my aesthetic. Well, I'm gonna have to keep this big box for the, for all of the wrapping alone, because I do, I keep all the wrapping, because you never know, you might need it. And I actually have plants that I want to sell, so perfect way of reusing it. Yeah, I don't think these pots are going to be damaged. <laughs> They're packed really, really well. Oh, this is cute. Garden trading. Oh, that's a really cute little pot with the little feet. 
Love that. Love that. Okay, wow. I love that color. What color does it say it is? It doesn't say what color it is, but it's really, really nice. Really nice color. It's like a minty green. Really pretty. Okay, and then I got one big one because I don't have big pots. I usually actually don't like to buy pots online, but these were all on sale. Most of these were 50% off and they are really good quality. They always work with nice brands. There was actually one pot that I really wanted and they didn't have, which kind of bummed me out. But yeah, they were all on sale, so. simple big white pot it has like these little round bumps in it but yeah it was really really nice don't have a big pot and they're always so expensive so when I saw this 50% off I thought you know what why not and now the plants oh so excited there's also there's actually four plants in here. My mom also ordered two plants. Yeah, whenever I order plants, she always has to always has to join in. And it's also a great way of getting to like your your limit that you need to get to to get free shipping. But I was at free shipping anyway, so okay. I want to be really careful when I open this. Pull that out first. Oh, the baby plants are like wedged down to you. Okay, I'm gonna start off with this one. I was really nervous about this one because anthuriums do not travel well. So. don't see any any damage and the leaves are a lot bigger than I thought they would be wow gently uh. I came with a stick the stick was in there was it in there I don't know it does have a little clip Oh, no, that's just dirt. <gasps> wow, those leaves are a lot bigger than I thought they would be. So this is the Anthurium vichii. <sighs> I'm very skeptical when it comes to, I don't see any pests. Wow. She's a lot bigger than I thought she would be. Like I knew she would be in this size pot, but that's a big leaf. So I was really, I've been thinking about getting this plant for over a year. This has been on my wish list for over two years. But yeah, a year ago, it's only really started going down in price and it just, it was incredibly expensive. And this last year, it has just gone down in price almost every single month. I wanted to buy a baby one of these, but I have heard that the Vichai can kind of be a really slow grower. I mean, Anthuriums can be quite slow in general, but yeah, I had heard that this one was quite a slow grower. So I wanted to get like the one size up from the baby size. So this is in a pot 12 centimeters. Yeah, 12 centimeters. I can see roots like at, can you see there? Don't focus on my face, please. Like there's roots there. Why is it white on the bottom? It better not be, oh, those, those roots. 
she's very, very wet. I'm going to have to check her out, I think, and maybe take her out of that soil quite sooner than later. But yeah, she's a bit wobbly. That's why they had that stick in there, actually. I'm going to put that stick back in there. I think, where did it come from? Gonna jimmy it back in there. Came with a little clip, just to kind of, yeah, yeah. It was like that. That's that's better. What was I saying? Yeah, they were really, really expensive, and they were starting to go. The last year, they've gone down in price quite a lot. And I said to myself, I'm not going to buy this as a baby. I'm going to wait until I see like a big one. And I've seen them on lots of other websites, but. I don't know, when it comes to anthuriums, I, I do trust Plants.com in that department because they do have really, really good, just like the quality of the, the shipment and everything is the packaging and all that. It's, it is really good. So I wanted to be sure. And this one was on sale. So this one was 39 euros. It's normally 49 euros for this size, which I still think is not that bad for a VCI. So yeah, really, really happy with her. Wow, stunning, absolutely stunning. And I think something's happening there. I don't smell any rotting. No, but I am gonna have to I think. Oh no, there's new white roots there. No, maybe that white is just from I don't know. If you're gonna be able to like see on the bottom. See it's like white there. Yeah, really happy with her. Stunning. Okay, let's put her in one of these pots so she doesn't fall over. And then, you can probably, can you see? I don't know if you can see. No, I'm gonna take the baby ones out first because they kind of, They were squished in here. So these are not my plants. These are my mom's. She ordered two little baby Hoyas. And... Wow, this one is a lot bigger than the picture. On the picture they show like a couple of leaves. Oh my word. <laughs> wow. So this is the Hoya Corniana Eskimo, I think. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, also very, very wet. But is that webbing? What is that? No, that's fluff, I think. Wow. She is beautiful. Okay, don't focus. She's stunning. Like, look how long she is. Wow. I think she's going to be really happy with that. And then she got a little, oh, this is so cute, a little Hoya Rosita, it was, yeah. This one kind of reminds me of the Y80i, slightly. It's so cute. Very, very cute. Bigger than the pictures. And a lot of new growth points, wow. Those roots are... It's obviously very, very humid in the greenhouse. <laughs> really pretty. There's lots of new growth happening there. Yeah. Beautiful. She's going to be really happy with those. And again, keeping all of the packaging. And this is my baby. This is one that whew, I'm so excited for. You can, yeah, you can probably see her right Packaged really, really well. Yeah, I'm being as careful as I can because she's kind of, she's big. This is the large one that I was talking about that I got. <gasps> wow. 
Oh my word, is that a baby? Is there a baby in there? Are there two babies? Oh, okay, that soil is very, very dry compared to the other ones. Wow. Wow. Oh no. She is damaged. That's just dirt. Yeah, you can see this leaf is quite fresh. It's still quite light green and it is a bit damaged. Yeah, unfortunately. But that happens. She's still beautiful. The speckled variegation of the Thai constellation is so... I was debating on whether I should get a variegated Deliciosa again, but that one just gave me such a headache. All It kept on browning and yeah, it was just very irritating. It was giving me more stress than joy. And there's a crack there as well. Oh, that's sad. So the only thing with big plants and transport is they can get damaged. But she's still, she's still stunning. Like she's huge. She's in a 15 centimeter pot. Wow. Beautiful though. I'm really happy with her. Really happy. She's bigger than I thought she would be. I thought she would be maybe just that. This is obviously quite a new leaf. This is quite fresh. And there's already a bump. I don't think I'm able to see. There's a bump here with like a pointy bit. That's, that, yeah, that's going to be a new leaf pretty soon, actually. Wow. Beautiful. She is beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, one that I've been thinking about getting for a very long time. I did my research on her and people also said that if you get her as a baby, she can be very, I don't know, dramatic. And she had recently gone down in price. She was 69 euros, which I think is not bad for the size that she is. A baby one is 40 euros. So it's kind of like, you know what, I might as well just like spend the extra for a bigger one and have one that's a little bit more mature and is not going to give me as much of a headache. Because I have also heard that they are slow growers. So yeah, I wanted the wow factor and she definitely is wow she is stunning she's beautiful 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 really happy with these plants a bit bummed about this one leaf don't really know what I'm going to do about that I might send them a message because yeah I don't know I don't know but still really happy really good quality and really really beautiful really beautiful Okay, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. I certainly did. I'm always happy when I get new plants. I now am going to be putting them in a separate room. So I have made a quarantine zone. I've learned my lesson and honestly it's not worth the headache with thrips and spider mites and just all the pests. So I'm putting her in a, putting all of them, well both of them, in a separate room upstairs that I've cleared up and yeah they're going to live there for about a week or two so I can monitor them I'm going to give the leaves a really good clean yeah I'm just I'm I'm over the moon I think they look stunning and I'm really happy I'm happy that I went with the big version and not the baby version because I think the baby version would have just given me a little bit more of a headache so yeah anyway really really happy I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video Bye.